the Galactic Free Press Update. 2013. The best year this planet has seen in a long moment. Bringing Humanity Home. Energy and Event Update. Greetings, love beings. We've had a very historic and exciting month, and March will be even more exciting as the new Earth energies continue. We announced in previous messages, love is rising on this planet Earth equal heart, and we will see more of the magic of these energies in March, and will continue for the rest of the year. You thought this month was historical? Well, there's a lot more to arrive. In fact, we can clearly say that 2013 will be one of the best years this planet has seen in a long moment, as the truth is revealed in grander and grander ways, and the old continues to fall away. The first contact ground crew team is ready. Quoted from Suzanne Carvel. Last year, I rose from my position and walked this path up the mountain where I walked to meet an Agarthan. Together, we walked to the top and looked down. Below, I saw those of inner earth meeting with tribes of many lands, ready to take forth messages to humanity far and wide. Very soon it will be time for the crystals to rise to its full height where its light will connect to others around the universe and this will signal the sign many have been demanding for just over 2,000 years. In the year 122112, many of humanity were waiting for something. The elite pushed to fulfill prophecy to be thwarted at each turn. Many movies arrived showing disasters of enormous pro proportions, and still they tried to push the fear in hopes of holding on. The Pope's resignation, why this year of all years? It is no coincidence that we have made it to the year 2013, for it truly is the year of truth, miracles, and wonder. End of quote. Everybody on this planet is here and came fully intact with a specific mission and contract in service to love and planet Earth equal heart. If you are reading or listening to this message, you have now been activated to full mission in activation status. What this means is that you are being called into love in action and will be moving with us into the unified field on planet Earth Equal Heart for the co-creation of the new Earth. This is arriving through the web of light which is fully activated around this planet. We will be the carriers and the bringers of the true information, true communication with full participation. The last of your egos which is the program, will be dissolving quickly as the higher self fully manifests into physical form for the new earth. All first waivers, the gates of heaven are wide open. It's time to come home. The real beginning of love on this planet has arrived, and we have landed. Quoted from the One Dreamer, to heal the collective consciousness, one must jump in it, be a part of it, co-create with it conscious of co-creating. Every thought co-creates. Every thought co-creates. Every thought goes outside and is projected into the world, and every thought that is not wanted goes out there and becomes separate in order to be blamed upon. Every conscious thought becomes part of one's self and is mastered in oneness. It creates unity. Feel. Feel life. Feel others. Feel yourself as part of the all. As long as you need to be better then, you're playing a game of separation. And if you don't like it, it's fine. It still is. You can't claim to be light and see darkness. Be true. Be true with yourself. Get to know how the illusion works. 
Then climb into yourself and let it all go. You want to go home to your real place? Well, it's not another planet or a constellation. It was not taken by some extra alien lizards. And no one can take you away from home but you. Illusions veil home from you. Home is you. The more far away home is felt, the more far away from the truth one is. The portal is not in the skies. It's inside of you. Claiming that humanity is not evolving is looking in a mirror. We're one. We co-create all which is happening. All of it. How did it start? Well, no clue. But I know a clue of how to end it. And that clue comes from inside. And that clue I'm giving to you as myself, for that is what you and me are, one with all. I'm with you in the ride. I'm your ride. I'm the ride. And I'm you riding. End of quote. The incoming energies are going to be arriving in such an intensity and the old paradigm will be falling at a quicker rate than it already is. The higher grid is on, ready and awaiting the first waiver's arrival. Once the first waivers manifest in physical form onto this planet, this will trigger the second, third and fourth waivers until everyone on this planet is fully awake. Quoted from Pat Crosby. Since the turning of the ages has gone through its cycle, in the event that you call the 2012 finale, there are huge new energy waves impacting your planet. And of course, you and all are living on it. These waves are coming not only from sources beyond your planet and galactic sources, but also from forces that have awakened within your planet, from within and under the Earth's crust, and down below the surface of the Earth, down in the area sometimes called the place of the hollow Earth. Those of you on the surface of the Earth are going through all of your adjustments to the new energies. Uh, we think you've noticed by now. And Mother Earth herself is going through all these adjustments to the new energies. Additionally, galactic light codes are also being simultaneously activated now. Some of these codes from Lake Titicaca in Peru are bringing giant waves of new and quantum energies into your planetary mix. The planetary mix includes your own personality configuration mixed by extension, for you are part of the greater whole. Just as you on the surface are integrating and processing a lot of new information and a lot of new energy, so it is below the surface of the Earth. They are all doing the same in their dimension. Because the weave of your planet you call Mother Earth is all intertwined and interconnected, all of these released thought forms and reactivated memories are impacting each other. So all of you in this grand experiment, this grand pattern of evolution, you and Mother Earth are experiencing are simultaneously adjusting your vibrations and your conscious knowledge awareness. All of all are commingling their forces and their energy with the impulses coming from outside your planet, from the center of your galaxy, and from the beings who are currently tending your planet and who are called into service to those of you and to Mother Earth on the planet, and these beings you call your light beings, your guides. So everything that has been set in place on the Earth prior to this shift of the ages, the marker point at the end of t December 2012, is now being remixed. There is a reorganization going on to bring all the components of the new mix into the correct vibration for the new essence, the new energy, and the new existence on planet Earth. So everything that has been set in place 
prior to this grand event is now being realigned. You see, it is on the national front. You can see this on your national front in your congressional meetings. You can see this in the inter international front, the nations all around the world, and dare we say unceremoniously, uprooting their past patterns. Clearing the deck, of course, goes without saying, and preparing a new open space for the new mix, the new higher vibrating energies, and the new input from other civilizations. It is affecting every single one of you on this planet. By every single one, we mean not just humans, but all the different weaves of life on the planet, including not only those on the surface, but also those who live in the ocean, who are the part of the plant weave, and those who live as part of the essence of the mineral weave. Those who live under the surface, those who live in all dimensions on the planet. One day, to your amazement, you will walk out into the garden of your planning and indeed see all that is new, the new seeding that has suddenly sprouted. Then the plant of this growth will come very quickly, very rapidly, and all will fall into place. This new garden will show you the beings who are to come on your journey with you. And we also tell you that there are also beings from other dimensions who are newly bringing their forces of light into your journey as well. For this journey that you have set upon is indeed divinely intended and divinely guided. You as humans are very successfully playing your role at bringing this divine plan into manifestation. The forces of light are totally behind you all of you. Indeed, it has accurately been said, timing. Timing is essential here because this is a process of growth that is unfolding. So stay your course. All will come into fruition when the timing is absolutely right and perfect. End of quote. And quoted from Mahela, Welcome to the New Earth. On February 10, 2013, I woke up so dizzy I could hardly walk. I wondered to myself what was going on, and I received the information that the earth was shifting. The new year of the water snake started on February 10. The snake represents our kundalini energy. Maybe the earth's kundalini started to rise at that time and will continue to rise as Mother Earth ascends. We're in a place of very, very high frequency energy. This is a place that will finally bring abundance to this planet. No more lack unless that is what you choose to experience. We had to finish the lessons we chose to learn in this lifetime so we would be ready for the new energy. Now, we need to acknowledge the fact that the new energy is here. At the same time, we are in the new energy, and those that tune into this energy will not even be aware of the lower vibrating energy. Uranus is in Aries, and at the spring equinox, we can start vibrating to that planet which brings changes and surprising events. The sun will be conjunct Uranus at the time of the full moon, which is March 27th, Palm Sunday is March 24th, and Easter is March 31st. Passover starts on the night of March 26th. Right after the Sun conjuncts Uranus, it will take a 90 degree angle to Pluto. Pluto rules transformation. Isn't Easter the celebration of the risen Christ or the transformation? Isn't the Christ energy within all of us? Isn't it time for us to shine with the light and love of the Christ within? What a wonderful experience that would be. The sun conjunct Uranus will bring us a new beginning. Uranus is the planet of light and electricity. Maybe one of the light events will be the activation of the light within us. And don't forget that Mercury will be retrograde until March 17th. End of quote. A lot has been accomplished behind the scenes to make space for the higher energies coming in. 
Just hours before Cobra posted his latest message, the Earth Ally team did receive a telepathic message similar to what he shares below. Quoted from Cobra, The few remaining underground facilities that were used by the Cabal for their rituals and for mind programming have been completely cleared. All underground storages of weapons and drugs or other underground facilities that were used by the Cabal have been completely cleared. Also, all remaining underground storages of gold, precious objects, and artifacts were removed from the hands of the Cabal. The Cabal can now only use the surface of the planet for its actions. The Resistance has been using its technology to clear the vast majority of the environmental pollution in the layer between the 0 and 30 meters below the surface, and that was put there by the activity of mankind. The Resistance has also removed most of the remnants of past warfare, such as weapons, skeletons, and bones, that have accumulated in that layer through millennia of the violent activity of humanity and were an anchor for the negative energy for a very, very long time. The resistance has also blocked a certain technology that the minion archons had through which they could manifest their minions on the physical plane. All apparitions of greys and reptilians have thus ended. 22,000 agents of the resistance have come to the surface of the planet to support the preparation of the final liberation. This number will only increase with time. At this moment, the Cabal still pretty much control the surface. Their main points of focus are the control of the cash flow around the planet, manipulation of intel through the mass media for sheeple, and through disinformation agents for light warriors, and suppression of all evidence of life beyond the quarantined Earth. Certain operations of the light forces will need to be undertaken before that control falls, and they are already in place, ready to be activated at the right moment. One of these operations is already active, and it involves the Plidian fleet. There is quite much that still needs to be done, and it is, it is extremely unlikely that the event will happen before the opening of the portal on May 25th. End of quote. The announcements have already begun for those paying attention. It's recommended to let go of all expectations, as when this occurs, the grandeur appears. Love wins on planet Earth equal heart. Quoted from Montague King through Veronica. The truth will set you free. Remember that the truth is there, before you, hidden in plain sight. Think of this as you journey to enlightenment and into freedom. Send love and light to each other. Come together as never before, and nothing can stop you. End of quote. Decreed by heaven, we are smack in the middle of the transformations. The dominoes are falling. The mirror of love mirroring love on planet Earth has been activated. This will be a process continually unfolding. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth, Equal Heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's Earth allies, the company of heaven and the First Contact ground crew team. Mwah.